Okay, three exercises to help you with external rotation above head. What I mean by that is getting your external rotation strength in your shoulder through range above head. Many people have it down here, so if you've been working on, say, external rotation or even up here, okay, they get in those positions, but then from here above head, there's no external rotation strength being done there. So what I'm going to get you doing is three different exercises sort of progressing in order through range to get above head. So technically these are isometric exercises for the cuff while you press overhead because that's sort of what it does, right? So we're going to train it how it moves overhead. It's not rotating as we go overhead. That's a different set of exercises. This is sort of integrating external rotation into your shoulder press and I reckon it will help you with your shoulder press range and strength as you go. Now we're going to the first exercise is a side sprinter. Now this one's with a band so when you go from zero degrees to nine degrees you've got a lateral band giving you load and feedback into external rotation so you're learning that first phase of going from zero to 90. The second one is then going into a shoulder press position so you'd move your hand out to about 45 degrees press through and still have the same band. So it's very similar to what we call an overhead sprinter, but you've sort of, you're going to that shoulder press position. And then the third one is trying to challenge that external rotation in a different way, where you're going to go from having the band in front. So when you go into 90 degrees external rotation, you're going to press overhead. Band load is pulling you forward into internal rotation. You're going to fight that and press through. So all these three exercises are going to help teach you to keep on your external rotations through that above press movement. So let's get stuck into that. First one, let's go down and detail this. It's called a side sprinter. So attach a band to something that's not going to move. You're going to go from this position here where you are, let me show you this, neutral if you like there with your shot. Now you can grip onto that or keep it like that. You always bend 90 degrees at the elbow. When you go up, you go up at the shoulder, okay, but keep your elbow bent at 90 degrees. So it gives it a short lever, low load here. This band load, if you like, is trying to pull me in. So if you look at that, I'm doing external rotation. What I'm not doing is that, I'm just going flexion of the shoulder, which is part of that shoulder press movement, right, to get my shoulder up. I'm doing isometric work of external rotation in the shoulder joint as I go up because I'm fighting the band, right? Now position that band, sometimes you have it low, you can have it high, depends on what anchor point you've got, um, but it's maybe a midway between when you're down there and you're up there, okay? The mission is, if you look at my forearm, keep the forearm vertical. So from here to here, you wanna aim for a vertical forearm, then you're doing the right amount of external rotation work here, all right? Don't let it do this, where it comes in and rolls inwards, all right? So that's your no-no, you always keep it there. And just pivot at that shoulder. You're gonna find that'll cook up your external rotator calf pretty nicely after about six or seven reps, if you've got the band tension right. Try and get to 10. If you get to 10 and you're not feeling it too much, maybe this is too easy, right? So go up a band. This is a yellow, maybe go up to red or a green. So that's your first one. I'd always get that one done first, so you're, you're really working out, okay, what am I supposed to do isometrically here, feel what you're supposed to be doing before you move on to the shoulder press position, okay? So the next one is from there, keep the band anchored about the same, all right? You may find that now this will get a little bit harder. What I'm gonna try and do is go out to a shoulder press position start, all right? So instead of being here and going up, I'm now going out a little bit here, okay? into that start position there. So you can see my sort of upper arm now is 45 degrees and I can feel that already. So that band is trying to pull me into internal rotation, right? So I am fighting it. I'm now trying to keep my arm out there, which is a little bit harder. And then I try and press above head to there. Okay, so this is a shoulder press with no vertical load. All the load I feel here is in the back of the shoulder, the backside, so right in there, okay? And all I'm doing is pressing above head and coming down. Okay, so very kind on the shoulder at the top. Okay, especially those who've recovered from impingement. This is very kind for you. But you'll feel like you're really working here. And I bet you, you won't feel that on a normal shoulder press because the load is not there, the load is vertical. So this is giving you realization of how much external rotation what you can get done in a shoulder press if you put a lateral band there. Now the way you can advance that is put a weight in your hand. So if I wanted to make that harder, 
I might grab a kettlebell or a dumbbell and I can actually just turn that into a shoulder press with the band, okay? So it means that if I wanna get lots of shoulder work done, I don't, okay, which makes the whole shoulder work really hard at that point, but it's much better for a shoulder that is lacking external rotation to do it with this than to just load it up with more and more weight, all right? So once you've done that one, then we get tricky. So I like doing, remember that was a lateral load, so that was be putting me this way. Now what I wanna do is see if I can hold it this way, okay? So different position, I was there or there, now I'm gonna go here. So I want to be facing the band this way now. All right, so if I put this on here, again, start with no load, then you can advance to load. You wanna get it, so when you're in this position here, my shoulders or arm is out at 90 degrees. This point here, if I just show you if I can go there, you gotta see it. I wanna to go to 90 degrees there, all right? Once I've got that, that load is like pulling me into rotation, so I'm externally rotating, I'm feeling back here. The trick is, make sure when you press up, don't let the band pull me forward. Okay, the whole idea is keeping external rotation to above shoulder height and on the way down with every single rep. And you'll find this is really hardcore for this rotator cuff, probably much more rotator cuff work than you've been doing before down here, all right? Because it's above head, it gets a bit harder to do. So. Once you've done that one, be my guess, then you can go, okay, I've got that sorted, I'm a bit stronger, maybe you've even been up in tension of bands, then you can go and do the same thing where you're here, you've got the band and the weight, and you press above to increase the load, to increase the strength. So there's my sort of three, if you're struggling with your external rotation strength overhead, you find you're rotating inwards all the time, start back at the first one, work through the second and the third, and see how that helps you. See you next time.